Hello, today we're going to conduct a mystery cube density investigation using the FET simulation. And this is the page that you're going to use to conduct that investigation. So to start, you're going to click the link here. And when the simulator loads, you're going to click the mystery option. So let's go ahead and get that started. So once that simulation loads, make sure you click the mystery option. And the first thing you're going to see is a series of colored cubes. And your task with these cubes is to explore each of them to determine what the mystery cubes are made of. To do this, you're going to identify the volume of each cube, then weigh the mass, record whether the item sinks or floats, and then calculate the density. When you're finished with all that, you're going to use that evidence to make a claim. So here's the data chart for your investigation. So you're going to start by dragging a cube, any cube, over to the scale to weigh the mass. And in this case, it's 0.64 kilograms. So I'm going to go to my chart, record the cube color, and record the mass as 0.64 kilograms. Then I'm going to go back to the simulation. And this time, I need to determine the volume of this cube. So when I completely submerge the cube, I see that the volume of all of the water is 101 liters. And I can determine the volume of the cube by identifying the amount of water it displaced because an item placed in water displaces the same amount of water equal to its volume. So to figure that out, we're going to subtract the lowest number here from the highest number. So you can see in the simulation that the water by itself is 100 liters. And when I add the cube to the water and completely submerge it, it's 101 liters. That means if I take the highest number, 101, and subtract 100 from it, it gives me one liter. And that is the volume of the cube in that water. And then the last thing you want to do is observe whether that item is sinking or floating. And in the case of this one, it is obviously floating. And so that's what I'm going to record on my chart. Now our last task is to calculate the density of this blue cube. And to do that, we can use the density formula, which is mass divided by volume equals density. And although you can use a calculator, in this case, I can take the mass, 0.64 kilograms, and divide it by the volume, 1, and determine that my density is 0.64 kilograms per liter. And now that you've seen that done with one cube, you're going to go ahead and go back into the simulator and do it for all of the cubes that are shown. Determine their mass, determine their volume, write whether they sink or float, and then establish their density. Once you've gathered that information, you're ready to move to the final step, and that is to write a claim. So you're going to write a claim about one of the cubes. Your goal is to see if you can figure out what materials the cubes are made out of. So on your notebook page, you have a chart showing materials and density. And once you've calculated the density of all of the items in your chart, you should be able to determine at least one of the items and what material it is made out of. You may be able to determine all of them. But for your claim, all you need to do is identify what material only one of the cubes is made out of. And you can pick which cube that is. Once you've finished writing your claim, you're done with this page and you're ready to move on. I hope this video helped you with your mystery cube investigation. Good luck!